Publisher Extreme and DJ Hyper present Summer of Love, a tribute to the summer of 2008. Now we are going to explain you how to clean up the, the speedy. You have to go far from people and you have to see uh, to where the wind is blowing. Where the wind is blowing. So you calculate and now you put it far away from your body. Mira, le dan el paño y él lo coge con la mano. You clean the balls. And that's it. You clean the balls. You clean the balls. For now. Okay, for the purpose of this exercise, yes. we're gonna use lift number 12. Okay, you're gonna get a table like this, which we're missing a piece, right? But whatever. Okay, you look over here, these are the station running along, and these are feet. Okay. Zero feet, one feet, two feet, three feet, four feet, blah, 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 blah. Between each of the feet, there's a uh, 0.5 feet, okay? And uh, it goes all the way up there. So we want to know, first of all, uh, we're going to lose, I mean, we're going to use lift 12 because that's what the professor said. Good. Now if you come down here, let's say we start that a ground, existing ground is on four, okay? Four feet, that's our existing, existing ground, okay? Yeah, 0.5 of a foot will be here, and then another feet, right? From four to five, one feet. 0.5 is a lift, okay? So we're gonna find lift 12 from where you start. I mean, lift, yeah, lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Lift 12, okay, is in 10 feet, okay? 10 feet is lift, lift 12. So we can kind of like draw a little line so we can see what's happening. In leaf 12, leaf 12 goes there. So pretty much we can do it, the test in any station. Either this station, you see, because we're still in the leaf 12, this station or whichever, right? Actually doing a station 117 plus 50, which is here. And you're gonna put an X mark where you're doing the test, okay? 117 plus 50, that's the station. You put an X mark what you do in the lift. You also want to find out how many lifts you have. Okay, so in this case, it goes from four feet all the way to 19 feet up in here. You see the line here? So 19 minus four feet. That line represents your final um, construction. Okay. This is existing ground final uh, line of final construction. So you have a total of 30 lift yeah, in that side. Yeah. And you're doing yeah. lift 12 of 30. Yes. In this case, we were going up, so you know that this is the maximum lift, right? But let's say this shit is goes up and down, whatever. You want to find out how many lift you have on one extreme and how many lift you have on the other extreme. You pick, you pick the, and you're going to pick as your number of lift the, the, the largest one. Okay, let's say you had uh, 10 lift over here and 30 lift over here, you're gonna get 30 lift as your number of lift. You come to the table. Proyer, number, okay, identification number. Okay, in this case, we already wrote the number. Blam, 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 blam. Typo, construction, and backman. We already wrote it, okay? The station we're working on is 115 plus 90 to 118. 115 plus 90 to 118, okay? Uh, okay, but lot number. Phone. What is the lot number? The lot number, the lot number is the first thing you're gonna put is the page number, one, dash. Test number. Test, test number. And this case today is our test number four, okay? Now, you're also gonna get a set of plans, and when you get that set of plans, you're gonna find out what you're working on, 
and you're either going to be working on the off the center line or off the baseline or something like that. In this case, we're working off the center line. You write it just like in the in the plans. You write the date. The technician ID, which is your license number minus the last four numbers, which I don't remember mine. Then the gauge zero number. What is the gauge zero number? The gauge is the machine that you use. It's inside. And uh, we, I show you before that the block had the same number than the serial number in the gauge machine. So that's the number we're talking about. Five, nine, two, five. Oh, and nine. Uh, for the density and moisture count, you're actually going to find it in the standard count when you did the first test and you wrote it down in your book. So it's going to be in it's your one book. Time in the day. Okay. In this case, this is the one that we got. Uh, we have it on top. Okay. Next is the maximum density and the sample number. Well, the maximum density is the proctor number, which is 116 in this case, the proctor that we use it in the calculation. Okay. The sample number. The sample number is the one that you sent to the lab. You took it before. It's not related to this that we did. And uh, you write E because it's an embankment, 0, 0, 0. And then the sample was 1. And then you write Q as QZ. OK, test number. It's test number 4, OK? Because it's the, it goes in order. 117 plus 50. The offset. We go back to our little drawing here. Let's say this is your drawings in the, the plants. And uh, the stations are going up that way. Okay, in that direction, they're increasing. And uh, this was a station 117 plus 50, let's say, right? And that's where you perform the test over here, okay? This is the center line. So you wanna go from the center line, you wanna face where the stations are increasing, and then you look in which hand you did the test. Either right hand to your right or either to your left, okay? And this is a tip, okay? Now it's gonna be to your right. That's how you're gonna write it, to your right. You're gonna measure how many feet from, from the center line is and it's 25 feet in this case. I hope you understand what I said. So you're gonna write 25 feet to the right. 25 feet to the right. Now the lift number, the lift number like we mentioned before, the professor said it's lift number 12. But you need to tell us 12 over how many lift. And uh, it's 30 lift, okay? I like to go like that because my wife told me that she wanted to have kids. Steel balls. Steel balls. I got two balls. So how you? 